Mr. Bob Aram, where are the pay-per-view numbers, Bob? Come on, Bob. Why don't you release them to the public, Bob? Stop saying that. We're trying to add them up and calculate them. We got to get them over here. It wasn't even on pay-per-view over there in the UK. You know you pocketed that promotional money, Bob. You know damn well you know the numbers. You know damn well it ain't no $650,000, Bob. You're lying, Bob. I don't know what we're going to do with you, Bob. But you're lying again, Bob. Man, Bob. Why don't you just tell the truth, Bob? You know you already screwed up with this pay-per-view by pocketing your money, Bob. You know Manny Pacquiao's not going to get 50-50 now, Bob. Because you know the Mayweather pay-per-view is going to do well over a million. It's how many million it's going to do, Bob. It's not even a, a asking or a guessing fact anymore, Bob. They don't even need promotion, Bob. And everybody's lining up to promote it, Bob. Now Mayweather's looking like a genius, Bob. But coming up with this drug test policy, now that all the other sports are thinking about changing the format. Man, what's going on, Bob? Look, $650,000, Bob. I mean, I'm sorry. Homes, Bob. It's a lot. <clears throat> I want to know, where did you get those numbers, Bob? The number I got was like 437,000 pay-per-view buys, Bob. That was the number I had, Bob. <laughs> and that's the number I was told those were the real numbers, Bob. All these other little numbers you're coming up with is just ways you're finding to tweak the system to try to push it up, Bob. Now, I guess one person told me you pushed it up to 700,000 buys, Bob. <laughs> and a lot of your pay-per-view, Bob, don't even do that much, Bob. So, on that note, Bob... I'm going to let that rest, and you continue to do exactly what you've been doing in Manny Pacquiao's career. And uh, I hope, Bob, you got these guys uh, still supporting you, these Pacquiao fans, because they're not going to push for the Mayweather fight. They're not going to push for Manny to do it. So he'll fight Margarito, he'll fight Pachinko, Pacheco, anybody he could think of. He'll fight just because the people are going to keep accepting it, you know. Milk it to his dry, Bob. Now, moving right along in the boxing network, we got the Lucian Butte fight against Edison Miranda. I think this will be a good action-packed fight. Edison Miranda's back against, is against the wall as far as anybody's back on the wall could be. He lacks technical skills. He's a basic fighter. All he is is really power. He has that big right hand. And uh, he living off the fame of the first King Arthur fight, and the fight which he pretty much won, but they found a way to screw him out of it. But this guy can't fight a guy with lateral movement. Anybody with any type of slickness, like Andre Ward, or anybody of that nature who moves side to side can easily beat him, as Arthur showed you in the rematch. He decided to give him angles and move, and let Miranda come to him and just counter and then he's easy to catch him with a shot now I don't know if Butte knocks him out but he might stop him in this fight but I think it'll be a display none under because Lucian Butte can fight going backwards just as good as he can going forward and he can fight from left to right which means he can you know give a lot of problems to Miranda it's real crafty um on that note, I'm just looking forward to seeing that fight. I think it's going to be quite interesting to see which style prevails because Butte does tire and he gets bored sometimes. He gets real complacent and comfortable in the ring. And he can get caught because when he pulls back sometimes his head is straight up. So he don't want to have one of those moments where he gets caught again and here we go again, another saga. He's got to fight Miranda two more times just to prove himself. But uh, what's going on in the world today in the sport of boxing? Oh, my God. I love the way Max Kellerman shocked all the Pacquiao fans and put them on blast and told them exactly 
what the truth was with Manny Pacquiao ducking Shane Mosley and Floyd Mayweather stepped up. You've tried everything you could to get Pacquiao in the ring. You agreed to everything he wanted and they wouldn't even talk to you. Floyd is going to fight you. What does that mean about Floyd? You ought to have heard all these people now. They hate Max Kellerman. <laughs> oh, Pacquiao fans got to be the greatest because they just go in full-hearted. They don't care who said what. They just all their heart on their sleeves and they just rolling right in like an avalanche but um the heavyweight division my god what are we gonna do to get an american heavyweight in here that's worth the damn <laughs> Eddie Chambers went in there and got hit once and twice, and after the body slam of Klitschko, he, that was it for physical contact for Eddie Chambers for the rest of the night. His reward was just making weight. Once his weight was down to 209, he, that was the extent of the fight he was ready to do. Everything else, he was like, where's my check? I don't know what we're going to do with Fast Eddie, but he's too fast for our blood. So David Hay might be our final answer. Because a lot of people ask me, is David Hay for real? And I was like, well, he's real enough. He's real enough to market the heavyweight division. He's got the look of a champion. He's doing the right thing by not fighting a Klitschko right now. Because there's really no money in it. Why well, fight a Klitschko? You're not going to get any money. I mean, it is the heavyweight division, and it is what it is. But if you want to make the three millions instead of the one point fives, you got to do a little marketing and kind of get a little bit of recognition. Now he has a heavyweight title, and now he can have a little bit of bragging rights, and then he can clean up some of the heavyweights in there that's hanging around. <laughs> then people can relate to just him versus the Klitschko's, because that's basically what's all it's going to come down to is that format flat out cut and dried i just want to say to the average boxing fan who don't understand how boxing works boxing fights are made at least six months to almost a year and i'm not talking about your regular fights that you see on espn which can be thrown together we're talking about like events certain, certain events have already been planned the Manny Pacquiao Mayweather thing is going to happen. It's already been discussed. So people can relax on that. And you're going to get a great showing. You're going to have a great fight with great great pay-per-view numbers. And then everybody's going to get what they want. But the fans have got to make a stand. If you don't make a stand, nobody's ever going to do anything. And I'm out.